Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will be showing you how to use Airtable for planning your social media calendars. Part 2. Posting videos to Instagram. Let's get to it. In the previous video I have showed you how to build a base that allows you to post pictures, photo posts to our Instagram account. You can see here Dapper Dog Outfitters where we post pictures of cute puppies. And for that, we were using Airtable and this base, as well as integration inside of make.com. You can find the link to the integration and to the previous steps in the description of this video. In this episode, I will show you how to post videos to Instagram. There will be some additional steps that we will add to this scenario over here. So first, let's start with our new video post. So you can see that here we had a new post that was created by our our team and the status is in progress. We previously had it planned, they changed it to in progress. And now we can change it to whatever next status would be approved if we approve that video. So let's have a quick look at the video over here. We can expand it over here and play the video inside of Airtable to see if we like it. Obviously, yes. We can add some comments to our team or mark any specific parts with comments to feedback to them if anything would be changed. But here we will say approved and we will also set the date. So if we would set the date for tomorrow, when we run Integromat, it would not be posted. So um, in this case, we want to post it now today so that you can see it. So we'll put the current date. So if this would be later than now, Integramat would not post because of the setup that we have done. So you can see once the video is set to be approved, it will show up in the approved view over here. And this is the same view that Integromat is using in this part, search records to see whether there are any materials to be posted. And it's also checking whether this is a date earlier than now, means it should be posted. And then it is posting this currently, it is posting this only into Integromat, and it's posting this as a photo post. However, if we would like to post the video, we need to use a different module. So it will be Integromat for business, and now we will use a module called create a video post. All right, so we have connected this to the router, and before we start setting it up, we just need to make small modification so that we don't post video as a photo and we don't post pictures as a, as a video post. So for that, we'll use following thing. Let's just disconnect it here. Let's do unlink and let's run once. You can see that we have that post from Airtable visible here. And we can also see the content here. Inside of the content, we have the first piece of content, which is our video. You will notice here that from Airtable, it recognized the type of content. So what we would like to do is to make sure that we post only things that equals video slash MP3. So I'm just copying this from here. Let's connect everything back here. So let's add additional filters here. Only pictures. And the condition would be that this piece of content is not equal, not equal to video. All right. And here, in this case, we would add a condition that let's find the content, content type equals to video MP4. All right. So now let's set up the Instagram for business video post. We already connected to Facebook, that's fine. Uh, it needs to be business profile and you also need to make sure that you have all the permissions needed. So let's find our page. And then the video URL will be the URL that we have here inside of copy URL. And you need to be sure that when you're posting this to Instagram, you are meeting all the video requirements here, which means mostly the length of the video in terms of seconds, the size of the file, as well as the aspect ratio to make sure that you are not having anything that is outside of those requirements because this would crash the, the posting and it would crash the scenario. So it would not allow you to post the video if you don't meet the requirements. Now let's add the caption. And for the caption, we'll use the copy here. And let's press Shift Enter and underneath we will add hashtags. Okay. And similarly, as in the previous scenario, we would like 
Airtable to update the status from approved to live automatically. So let's clone that module and let's add it here at the end. You can see that everything is already there. The record, record ID from the first module, this is correct. Status life, yeah, actually we don't need to change. Yes, we need to change the last element because we were saving the ID of that post. We'll also get the ID of that post here. All right, let's use the auto align and let's see how it works. All right, everything looks okay here. The status has been changed from approved to live, which means it has disappeared from the approved for publishing view. And then inside of manage content, you can also see that it has been uh, changed to live. So everything is okay. And let's see whether this has appeared on our Instagram page. Here you go. So this is the live video posted directly from Integromat, make.com and from Airtable. So similar to the part one, now you can turn on the scheduling. We're checking every two hours to see whether anything should be posted. And that's it. And that's, that's the living scenario. I hope this was useful for you guys. And in the next episode, we'll show you how to post this content also to your Facebook pages. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.